Oh, hello, and welcome to the Orion Bowl NFL Fantasy Week 5 video. I am Commissioner Burt, and uh, this is in effectively in a nutshell. If, if you're not a member of the league and you're watching this, this is just following my NFL Fantasy League. So you'll get to, it, it's a lot of fun. We, you know, you'll, you'll get to see some, some good fantasy decisions, some terrible ones, usually made by yours truly. But uh, yeah, so anyway. I'm going to get started. Uh, we'll do a quick review of week four. Now, week four, I like to do this quest for the ring. Here we go. So, um, basically, uh, it's all the members of the uh, of the poster for Lord of the Rings because we give out rings at the end of the season. So, it's the, it's the quest for the ring. It, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Anyway, Vigo Morgenstern. <laughs> I'm aware that's not how you say that name. But it's the most fun way to say it. Vigo Morgenstein uh, this week. The, the big killer of the week. The, the man, the guy, has to be Mr. Mark Andrews. Mr. Mark Andrews, round of applause. Good Lord. He came in. He smashed everything. He tore up the place. Taking the Arizona tits to their first win, I'm sure. The first of many. When you look at that, that lineup, that lineup's looking pretty frightening now. Um, yeah, I wish I played him in the first three weeks, honestly. Never mind. Uh... Yeah, so it took him to a win against the currently winless team with no Seamus. Uh, the team with no name is B team. I'm sure that they will, their, their wins are coming. Their wins are coming. Don't you worry about that. Uh, the Frodo, best ball carrier has to be Khalil Herbert from last week. He was just instrumental in keeping the Harlots undefeated this season against the Legion of Toilets. And then you've got the Gandalf. Magic man has to go to Christian McCaffrey. Look, what kind of sorcery is this? I thought I actually had a chance against the coach's sons this week until I saw Christian McCaffrey go in for his four fourth touchdown I was like well that's it done it's over finished the only, he, he got the coach's son's got 66.40 just from his two running backs alone when when that happens you ain't winning so you know what it, it was it wasn't even really a loss technically for me it wasn't even a loss I mean, I'm still still undefeated still undisputed because like what are you supposed to do against that come on man anyway Legolas Best Shooter Award this week goes to AJ Brown. Uh, normally this is reserved for a quarterback, but gun to my head, I ran out of spaces. And you have to put AJ Brown in there because he put up 29.50 29 for the team with no name, taking them to a very impressive win over Baby Dropped Dak. Now you've got the Golem who wants it at what most award has to go to Cole Komet. King Komet, he wanted it more than anybody else. He got 20 points. 20 points from a tight end is spectacularly good uh taking the newly crowned the newly christened Forbes e Niners great team name loving the new team name absolutely love it love the the kind of the the basic logo but it's it's fantastic so the the Forbes e Niners beating the best team in the league the Dennis Tray Gorillas look uh, uh, the sky is the limit for the Forbes e Niners honestly I'm a big fan of that franchise and uh, I think I think we're going to see them doing very very well I think they're the champs in waiting uh, along with the Arizona Tits. Champs, they've already won. Seen the highlights. Seen the highlights. The Liv Tyler, why are you even there award? Because she wasn't really in the film that much. So why is she on the poster? I mean, I get it. She's pretty hot. So, you know, and people know who she is. But she wasn't really in the film that much. Anyway, the why are you even here award has to go to Chris Olave. Olave, what are you doing to me, man? You're one of my brightest prospects. To be fair, it's because he has lost his starting QB. And the problem with uh, Olave now is... That with Winston thrown to him, it's so it's going to be so hit or miss as to whether he does well or not. So I don't know whether to play him or not. Sweet D of the week. This week has to go to the Seahawks. 30 points. Absolutely sensational. What a week they had. So let's now look forward to week number five. And this week... I'd like to congratulate the Forbes Uniners because they have already beaten me. They dropped 51.20 on me just from the Thursday night game, only playing two players. Moore got 41 points, so that's it. My week is done. I, but it's nice. It's liberating. I don't even have to think about my lineup this week because I'm not beating that. There's, no, there's, there's zero chance. I can just move on to next week. Look, as long as I finish middle of the table, which might be a big ask for my team on their current form, I'm sure that, look, I believe their form will get better, but currently their form is not great. Um, I just need to finish middle of the table because I think actually that's the best place to draft. I don't even want the first draft pick. The first draft pick is trash because you get one pick and then there's like 20 picks before you get another one. So you have to go big on the first pick. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'd rather draft in the middle, honestly. So that's where I'm shooting for this re this season. This season, I am going to get to the middle. And none of you all are going to be able to stop me. I'm going to get to the lofty heights of maybe fifth 
in the in the league. Uh, that's that's right where I want to be. You're you're falling right into my trap, right into my web, huh? Right into my web for next season, for when I uh, when I get finally get that win that I'm after. Anyway. Uh, but I'll break this down anyway. Josh Allen versus Hertz. Hertz probably wins that one. Zach Moss is probably... I just don't know whether to play Zach Moss or Taylor because they haven't even taken Taylor off of uh, the PUP list yet. So it's just all up in the air. Zach Moss might get a uh, whole workload. He might get. He might be RB2. Who knows? Uh, so Derek Henry wins that matchup. Etienne versus Stevenson. Stevenson wins that. Thielen versus Moore. Moore's already won that. Thielen ain't getting 41 points. That's ridiculous. Um, Michael Pittman versus Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel wins that. Lapuata versus Cole, Cole Komet. King Komet's already put up 10.20, so he's won that already. Brandon Ayuk versus Najee Harris. Uh, Najee Harris probably wins that. Tucker versus Bass. Bass is far better. Ravens defense versus Jets defense. The Jets have got a good matchup this week, so the Jets uh, win that match. Giving a clean sweep to the Forbes Uniners. He's dusted me he swept me completely under the rug blasted me out of the water yes so uh yeah congratulations to Forbes United I'm actually a huge fan of the franchise I love the new name I love the new like you've, you've got a logo uh he had a rough run last season you know I'm just very I'm very glad I if I'm going to lose, I'm glad to it's a, that it's to a team as classy and nice as the Forbes Niners. Then you move on to the San Diego Harlots taking on the Coach's Sons. Now, um, yeah, it's it, the Harlots, they're trying to stay undefeated, but I mean, they've given them, they, they haven't started well. So we've got Jordan Love uh, taking on uh, Howell. Howell's already put up uh, 25.42, uh, which isn't, t which. Pretty good, pretty good, not too bad. Uh, Saquon Barkley taking on Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey's on ridiculous form at the moment. He'll probably go for five touchdowns, so that's that's McCaffrey all the way. Uh, Gus Edwards versus uh, Williams. Williams is looking really good right now as well, so I'll go there. Uh, Devontae Adams versus McLaurin. I think that Devontae Adams probably puts up more points than McLaurin. Tyreek Hill versus Waddle. I'd say that Tyreek Hill probably puts up more points than Hill. Uh, Ertz versus Ingram. I think I'm probably going to lean Ertz there. Connor versus Swift. Uh, I'd lean towards Swift, there you've got Mayer versus uh, Sly? 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 Is it Sly? Anyway, Sly. Uh, he got eight points already, so yeah, good for him. Uh, Commanders D went for minus one. That is a real slap in the face for the Harlots. Uh, 49ers D taking on Dallas. Oh, no, 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 Dallas. It depends which Dallas turns up, honestly, but they're probably. The, the 49ers D are probably going to do better than minus one. I would say that much. I think that this week, the coach's sons are probably going to. Take that they're going to be the one in four and one. That's my prediction. Um, baby got Dak, then takes on the Dennis Trey Gorillas. Uh, so you've got C.O. Stroud taking on Patrick Mahomes. I think Mahomes wins that one out. Uh, Kamara versus Pollard. I think Pollard probably gets more points than Kamara. Uh, B. John Robinson versus Brees Hall. I think Brees Hall's got a, an incredible matchup this week. I really do. I think that Brees Hall does numbers, so I'm going to go Brees Hall in that one. Justin Jefferson versus Collins. Um, I think probably Jefferson is probably because he's he's the, the the only target really in Minnesota. Uh, Collins, although you know the 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 Houston Texans are throwing the ball more than any other team in the league right now. Collins is their number one wide receiver, so that's going to be close. Uh, Garrett Wilson versus Reed. I think that Garrett Wilson has the better matchup. I think it, I think we see the Jets do okay this week. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, at least it's a winnable matchup. Uh, Kittle versus Hurst. Probably got to go K Kittle there. Uh, Nakua. Versus Pickens, probably Nakua. Nakua's been on incredible form. Um, Manners versus Carlson, probably. I'm going to go with McManus just because we're going to go watch him this week. Woo! London Games! Jags versus Bills. It's going to be a good game. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the Lions versus the Eagles defense. Hmm. I think. I think the Lions have probably got the better matchup there. They're taking on Carolina. They're at home as well. And the Eagles are going up against the LA Rams, who um, who have been looking pretty good. So, I mean, I've forgotten who I've been picking for, but I'm going to go with the best team in the league. Dan Stray Gorillas are going to get back in the win column this week. No problem at all. The Arizona Tits then takes on the Legion of Toilet. Uh, so you've got Kirk Cousins taking on Tua. No-brainer, that is going to Tua. Then you've got Dylan versus Mixon. I think that... Mixon probably edges that one out. A-Chain versus Monty. 
A chain all the way. Stefan Diggs versus Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup's been reactivated. Uh, I'm going to go Diggs there. I think Diggs has got a good matchup in the Jack against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Watson, if he plays versus Amonar St. Brown, I think that Watson actually, Watson's going to be the number one receiver in Green Bay. Andrews versus Schultz. Andrews, Andrews is back in form, baby. He's back in form. Then you've got Atwell versus Joseph um, versus Jones, even. I don't think Jones, no. I don't like Jones' matchup. I'm going to go Atwell on that one. Butker versus Joseph. I'm going to say toss a coin. Joseph, maybe. Bills versus Dolphins, D. I think the Bills, D. Oh, no, the Dolphins against uh, the Giants. They're going to put up huge numbers. So I think on balance, Arizona Tits gets another win. They'll be on level points with me and obviously will go ahead of me because I'm just not putting up enough numbers to go ahead on points difference. And uh, yeah, so by next week, I think I'm going to be second bottom, which is going to be pre pretty nice. Pretty nice. And uh, then you've got the Minnesota Vikings uh, team with no shameth, no nameth B, taking on the team with no nameth A team. Wow, this is a this is a real this is a conundrum wrapped in an enigma, isn't it? And uh, you've got Jer like Burrow versus Richardson. I like Richardson. I would never say this to no nameth's coach's face, but he made a really good decision in picking up Richardson. Uh, I would never say that to his face, so don't tell him that I said that. Um, but, and he's, he's a great guy as well. I'd never say that to him, though. Don't, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Richardson's been... I hate to say it, He's been very, very good. Uh, Cook versus Jacobs. I think Cook there. Cook's probably got a better matchup. Uh, Robinson has already done 4.3. Uh, Pierce is probably going to do better than that, honestly. Uh, Ridley versus Kirk. Ridley. I, I like Ridley there. I, he's, I think he's got a good matchup. But I think that the Bills-Jacksonville uh, game should be fairly high scoring. There you've got Kirk. I think he's, I think Ridley's going to see more of the ball than Kirk. Uh, famous last words. Gabe Davis versus CD Lamb. CD Lamb all the way. Kelsey versus Hawkinson. Hawkinson's been on such good form lately, but Kelsey is obviously winning that one out. Uh, Javante Williams is probably not even playing, so I don't know why he's in. Uh, Brown should probably do better than the zero that Williams is going to put up, because I don't think he plays. Uh, Patterson versus Elliott. I think that uh, Detroit's probably going to have... I think, yeah, I think, I think I'll think i go with Patterson in that one. Packers D taking on the Bengals D. Hmm. I don't know. It depends how Arizona does. Bengals haven't looked good. I'm going to go Packers D on that one. On balance, I think the team with no nameth A will probably beat out the team with no shameth, but... I am rooting for the team with no shame. It's just because I want to see them get a win. I want to see. I don't want to see the team with no name with A go too far above me. I want to drag, drag them down here with the rest of us. It'd be pretty nice. And that's everything. That's all the matchups this week. Um, if I pick for you to win, prove me right. If I pick for you to lose, prove me wrong. See you next time.